So today, come with me for a few minutes to shul. Like I said, it's an interesting thing that almost every sitter has in the beginning of it the Aleph base. I think it gives a chance for a child and his father to go to shul, sit down, so we don't want to disturb. And for a few minutes, even the youngest child, three, four, or five years old, can sit down and learn a few minutes with his father. Sit. Here's a standard sitter, took it off my shelf, and I open it up, and I see in here, right at the beginning, we have our letters. So this is how we can do it. You come with me to shul. I say, okay, come, now let's take a look. We'll read this together. Aleph, base, vase, gimel, dalid, hey. Vav, Zion, Ches, Tes, Yud, Kof, Chof. We'll ignore this for a second. Chof, Soifis, Lamid, Mem, Mem, Soifis, Nun, Nun, Soifis. Samich Ayin Pei Fei Fei Soifis Tzadi Tzadi Soifis Kuv Reish Shin Sin Tov Sof now over here, you see that? Oh, we won't ignore that. We'll look for it just a second. That's an Aleph and a Lamed put together. Because one of the names of a Shem is with an Aleph and a Lamed. So the printers put them together in order to not have any uh, problems of being too holy. It needs to be thrown out. That's what I was told. But now, so what does a father do? So he opens it up, opens up the sitter looks for the larger letters, and says, okay, let's see. Let's try to find an Aleph. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look, we found an Aleph. Very good. Okay, let's see if we can find another one. Okay. Oh, we found another one. Great. See if we can find another one, please. There's one. Right. Very good. Very good. Now, all these small, small letters we'll ignore. Oh, very good. Now, let's see if we can find a base. Okay, base. Oh, base. Fantastic. Okay, let's look for another one. Here's one. Mm, good. Let's see if we can find another one. Yeah, there's one there. Oh, good. That's a base. Yeah, and I see another one already, right down there. There's another base. There's another base. There's another base. Now what I'm really... I want to find a vase now. There are not so many vases that there is bases. Whenever you have a printed normal page of reading. Let's see here, though. Here comes one. Oh, good. There's a vase. And my, I caught another one. Just down on the next row. Here it comes. Oh, good. There's a vase. And the truth is, the one I saw first was right over here. There's another vase. Good. So we see we find olive. Yeah, where was that? Oh, that was on the previous page. Olive. So let's get an olive here also. Olive. And a base, and a base, and a base, and a base. And here's a vase, and a vase. So, again, you're by yourself. You don't necessarily have someone to help you. But so you can open up a sitter or any other safe you might have. And take a look, and just look for some letters. Look for the aleph, look for the base, look for the vase. So let's see what comes next. Gimel. Okay, so let's look for the gimel then. Let's see if we can find a couple gimbals here. Hmm. 
not in yet. Still not. No. No. Mm, that's a nun. That's not a gimel. Let me see. Must have a gimel here someplace. Did I miss one? Look at the next page. Gotta have a gimel. Hmm. Open up the wrong page? No gimels? I just might not see it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there's a gimel. There's a little gimel. I didn't notice it. Now, you know what sometimes you'll find there are certain letters which look more similar. They're more common. And they're harder for you to get used to seeing the differentiation between the two of them. Let's see. And you're looking for Gimel now, so you could have crossed, caught your eye perhaps, that we had a Nun, which is not the Gimel. Here's the Nun. Now the only difference between a Nun and a Gimel is the Nun is closed all the way at the bottom. Here's another Nun. In the Gimel, we said before, it's like it's Gomel Chasim, it's walking, it's taking a walk. Here's the Gimel. And the Gimel is walking, he has two legs. The Gimel has legs, but he has the same head, the same body. And he has two legs, so that's the Gimel. And if you look at those both of the Nun, they're very, very similar. Here's the Nun. Here's the Gimel, and here's the Nun. So we're going to take a minute out, out and we're going to see a few pages, which help us to understand between a Gimel and a Nun. It's one of the common... If Here we go. So we'll do it like this. This is how I do with the boys in my class. If I had a boy, not every boy will have such a question. Gimel and Anun, some boys is very clear to them for whatever reason. And some boys it's harder for them to catch up in that distinction. So we take out a page like this. We say, okay, so here. Here's a row of Gimels. Let's say you say that. Okay, we'll say it together. Gimel. 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 Gimel, Gimel, Gimel. Good. Let's do that same row again, only faster this time. Gimel, 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 Gimel. Good. Now underneath we have the Nun. Nun. And when you see the Nun, right next to the Gimel, you see the Gimel has two legs walking and the Nun is closed. Nun. Nun, 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 nun. Okay, now let's do that one faster also. Nun, 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 nun. Great. Now we have this row here in the mixed. Nun, gimel. Nun, gimel. Nun, Gimel. Okay, good. Now let's do it a different way. This is Gimel. This is Nun. This is Nun. Okay, and here, this is Gimel. And here, Nun. And here, Gimel. This is Gimel. This is Nun. Gimel, Nun. Gimel, nun, gimel, nun, 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 gimel, 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 nun, 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 gimel. Okay, so we go back and forth, up and down and around, make a snake path sometime to go around and see what there is, and that's how you get more and more proficient at recognizing the letters and you see here the main thing in the gimel is the gimel has two legs and then it is closed okay thank you for coming to learn in rabbi chanoch's cheder bye